So you can all see this. Uh, yes. It's a little angled, but uh, that's the best I can do. Otherwise, it goes beyond my control. Then it, it becomes too much at angle for me. So Ray, uh -huh. do you use your uh, rig or pencil or use the uh, water solvable water, uh, uh, pencil to uh, do the... Um, your can you sketch? see my pencil? <laughs> Is that any special? I, I mean, always use this pencil. Yeah. I mean, Unless I am using 10B, which I don't know when and where I bought it. But last drawing class, I was using 10B. I, I loved it. So maybe I'll go buy some more. To, no, I am not using any water soluble because the colors are the same. In fact, some of them are, I need to refill, but I didn't. I think it's enough for today. Uh, some care orange, care red, or some other red, I don't know. Any kind of red, but cadmium uh, red, I use cadmiums more. And then this is a uh, canacridone gold and canacridone yellow. No, oh, canacridone yellow. Ga Cambridge, something like that. Uh, yellow ochre, lemon yellow. So I will be using more cobalt blue. I need to take out more cobalt blue. I was looking at my tubes. I think I have and I use a lot of cobalt blue because that's what I have mostly in all the brands so then I will be starting one of these portraits while I was waiting I was also finishing my drawing mm. get the drawing first Oh, especially when you want to get the resemblance there. I will be starting from this one, uh, with this one, the side view. Uh, a smile, smiling girl. Okay. Make it bigger. Okay. <clears throat> the paper I'm using is not too thick, it's 140. Pounds arch. Uh, no, this is Vincent Newton. Oh, my water. So I do keep a big uh, water tub along with the smaller with two sections. Like always, we are going to start with a thin wash. I like to give a wash with just water in the beginning leaving the area where I want the paper paper white or even if it is not paper white even if I decide to cover it later on I still like to leave it there in the beginning okay if I look at the photograph it's warm light on her face. So I'm going to give a tiny yellow orange with lemon yellow wash. And don't worry about uh, carrying pigment because it's going to dry light. Even if it is just the wash, I still like to be very careful going along with the features. About colors and mixing, more than color, we need to keep the temperature of color in mind. So when I'm giving wash, I like to keep my warm washes separate from cool washes but not too separate we we still need uh, some kind of harmony in our painting excuse me what color you use i am using just cadmium orange and uh, lemon yellow oh okay <clears throat> i don't use too many colors for uh, for the skin tone, it's mostly uh, 
cadmium red. Uh, if I have warmer light, then orange. But red does, I think red is the most common on my brush when I'm painting figures. You know, you can, you can make it light or dark by adding water. And then uh, for the shadows, it's mostly blues, cobalt blue, or it can be uh, sometimes ultramarine. And very rarely though, it can be some greens. I do avoid um, getting the paper too dry because then you lose your soft edges. If the paper is too dry and then you paint over it, then you know the edges are usually very hard and unless that's what you desire, you need to avoid it. I like to keep the face and um, leave the rest at medium or dark. See, since it is uh, wet on wet, the edges are blending in. And I can always pick from the area that I don't want uh, color to mix. And for the teeth, uh, we don't need to mix any different color for the teeth. It's usually the same color as the skin. It can have a little cooler um, tint at, because it is behind the lips. So the cooler will take it, uh, give more receding effect. And my paper doll fell into the thick of water. So let's take off the drops here. <laughs> now it's almost dry. Yes, I think I can go over it. The the brush that I'm using is Escoda Reserva 14. It's a nat natural hair. Um, unless you are painting a large, uh, on a large paper, I think even synthetic brushes work quite good, equally good. Now they make synthetic brushes uh, much uh, nicer unless you are an expert i think it's really hard to manage too, too much of uh, moisture daisy paper which paper are you using wendy's asking it's yes. a water uh, it's a vincent newton i oh, uh, mean the paper yeah vincent newton paper oh i don't know how where i got it from i thought that uh, pat gave me but uh, she gave me arches uh, well, these, there are a couple of sheets. Uh, not my favorite, I must say. I like so, arches more than this one. Okay. It, it's a cold brush, cold press, right? Yeah, cold press. So I'm only trying the moisture to see how moist the paper is. That's why I'm working on it here. It still has quite a bit of moisture. <coughs> okay, let's start with the eyes. I'm going to mix 
red with already mixed orange. Because this is, I think, evening light, the shadows are kind of warm. And it depends on the time of the time and temperature of light. The shadow underneath the eyes can be lilac or if they can be green, depending on the color of light. And here, I see more of the orange. I like to use warmer colors first. This must be artificial light. I see more warmer shadows. The initial wash has more water and less pigment, but the second layer has more pigment in it. Otherwise, you get a yes, true zabardast. Yeah, Okay. Shukare koi to sahi Whenever you mix colors, uh, mix generously on, on your palette, whether you're working in oil or watercolor. You don't have to mix again and again. Um, I, when I say that, it doesn't mean that you paint the entire painting with the same mixes, but it's easier to add more newer color to that premix that you have on your palette. Mix that has orange in it. It pretty much like your oil painting, paint too, right? You, when yeah. you do oil painting, you, you do like uh, the red. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I do almost all the mediums the same way. <clears throat> That's interesting. Yeah, that you use the same image to do the uh, oil figure too, right? Uh, I, do, uh, I, I don't do. know. Uh, you know, I might use some other image since it's just a demo. Yeah, I know you. A uh, couple demo before. Yeah, demo before I you did. use the same one. I, yeah. I like that. I yeah. like the idea. It's just a really cool for the comparison. Yeah. Well, I haven't thought about uh, the image for oil. It might be the same. Not too sure. That's good. It's the same. It's good. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry and then maybe add the dark later, the cast shadow. Okay. 
so far I haven't seen any artists do such a thing like uh, use the same image to produce two different media. Oh, so that's very unique. Mm. <laughs> yes, that's certainly very unique. And also, uh, Wendy, you just nailed it when you said that uh, you know she works uh, in oil and watercolor the same. Because when she's working in oil, it seems to me as if she's working in watercolor. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I do um, keep in mind when I'm working in oil that uh, I don't like to pamper myself regarding the flexibility of oil and uh, the fact it's forgiving. I I try to uh, you know keep each stroke my final one. Yeah. Otherwise, in oil painting, we tend to become a little careless. Because you can always go back on it and correct it. But, but that, uh, that also comes with lots of practice, isn't it? Um, I uh, mean, well, we all our life we practice, right? But this yeah. is one thing that I have always done. Okay. But I, I suppose that's also because you leave your canvas white, you know, for the light mostly, don't you? Mostly, yes. Uh, oh, yes, I have added a uh, tint, natural tint, which is not black, but it's just a dark color. But that you asked, I was about to say because uh, I was noticing it's it was going a little too blue. It's still quite blue. Yeah. Yes, natural tint. Uh, you can get natural tint in um, almost all the make. Um, Mitz Newton has it. You can get it from Pakistan also. And uh, well, I, Dennis Smith also has it. I might be using Mitz Newton. But you know, I keep mixing. I don't keep them separate. Although they, they have certain um, differences in their tone. It's quite dry now. No, not really. It's mixing up. Okay. Have patience. So one thing you need to have is patience. Let's wait for it to dry. Uh, strokes. Uh, I like my strokes to define the form. Again, a little orange, and maybe some red. You get the light uh, reflect, reflecting from behind. I use hair dryer. Would it be too noisy? Let's try it. I'll mute it. Let me mute it first. Oh, you can mute it later. about blue I'm going to use some ultramarine also in the hair just 
blue and red. Oh, <laughs> that's the thing. I am too far from my painting, otherwise. That's why I was a bit afraid in, um, when putting the colors because I am painting from a distance, <laughs> which works fine when you are painting in, uh, in oil, but oh, okay. That's why usually I had my painting upright, but this time I thought I'll put it more flat and we'll try to work this way. But that's one shortcoming. Okay, I think this is. going to use warmer shadow and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, burnt sienna although I have not had it use burnt sienna any other area so far but it's the same mix of red and orange you really think of burnt sienna It all depends on the weight of the paper also. If uh, had I been using a heavier paper, um, I think I don't have to go into too many layers. Um, when I'm using lighter paper, I do further the shadow move, the, the softer its edge becomes. and also loses the intensity of the value. Keep checking the value, the shadows do appear to be very dark, but they are hmm, usually much lighter than what we perceive. So, yeah. Now I'm going to add blue to my oh, shadow or oh, dark areas, like the feature. I like to use, I like to go over this area while it is, it has a little moisture to give softer edge for the eye, eyebrows and eyes.
in oil painting i use i don't know how many brushes because i don't wash them that often but um in watercolor i usually end up using same brush and it's not intentional so i mean it's it's good to use different numbers this one has a nice point this is pointy round pointed round or point round i can keep going with this brush little details not much adding blue into the same color will not be finishing it oh, i like to keep it more sketchy you know i might do the other one so i'm using the background and do it okay this it's oh thank you i think it is pretty oh yeah kudiye pretty much done uh it is here tiny bit here not to make it too dark or under the picture shows dark but otherwise the we need to keep the teeth and the lips so not to overdo it i guess that's it Huh? Oh. You are one dedicated person. My other office is just behind me on the stove. <laughs> I think this is it. I I don't want to overdo it. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's done. We can add oh, maybe a little, little bit dark. Exactly. Oh, that's a chill easy. I think maybe a little bit. Mm. 
but I think that's about um, I keep saying that's about all it Okay, uh, I know I am going to spoil it now. No overwork. That's it. Can you hear Musla Dhar Barish? No. Please send some here. <laughs> so, do we have time or is it done? We can do another one. Uh, no. Do you want me to do it? Since everything is out and I have already sketched. Okay. Sure. Let me get the other picture. It's our treat. Go ahead. Uh -huh. So let me pull the picture here. And since the paints are out, let's just start another. Again, um, this one I'm going to add my cadmium orange and red together to give a wash she is her face is pretty much in the shade there's no light coming on her so i'm going to yeah the first wash is going to just cover the face entire face except for this side of the cheek all well, that can also be covered, but using the same. Well, this is one thing that I didn't do. Oh, well, oh, the cat, I will be mixing yellow ochre. without letting any outline stop me and as I go further on her skin I'll, I'll use more orange and red like that and then again to the and even for the couch which has a light on it I'm going to use some lemon yellow One thing to consider is the, the edge. Don't let the edge dry out like a harsh line, which was here. See, this is what I say when you add uh, more water in your second layer, then you get this line okay so this is our first layer and why I when I don't want it to dry that fast it's not listening to me Okay. No, I think it is quite dry. I don't know why. That's my mix. Behavior change and work ethic module. This was behavior change and work ethic.
she might look very scary. Here with me. Unlike this portrait, this one is in in the shade. And what I like to do is uh, paint the forehead, the hairline, uh, while the paint is still wet, so that I get a softer edge. So the moisture in your on your paper um, actually controls the edges. The more it, the more moisture it has, the softer edge it will make. Which you don't want all the time. So that's that that's what the challenge is. Going to put some blue underneath the chin for the reflection of the tissue. like oil colors um, even in watercolor it's good to repeat the colors from the skin over to the hair and um, clothes and you well we you might be thinking what if she's wearing yellow clothes or um you know the color entirely contrasting to her skin you will find areas you might add that on the shadow or in the light depending on the kind of uh, you I forgot to raise this line but in the, in the, Yeah, he needs to go 
there's very little light on her face even the lips do not have any light it's Okay, it's not the blue I want, so I'm going to add. Let me try some neutral tint and the skin color, which will be nice. I'm going to leave this white separating these two areas because I'm not sure if it is uh, dry enough. We can always cover it later. And while that cover uh, dries up, I am going to attempt the cat. <laughs> I did before. <gasps> you know, since I've never had pets, um, I feel I feel discouraged painting pets. Although I love. And I would love to do it someday. Let's see. For that matter, I I would rather do while. Yeah, well, I am I'm pretending most of the time. <laughs> so today is the last day I can admit. But unless you do that, you are not going to ever learn. This is the last day, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's actually okay, a bonus was, day that he asked from Dure. It yeah, wasn't part of the deal. Yeah, actually it was for review of your work, but I didn't get any work from anyone. So I said, okay, let's <laughs> do another one. <laughs> I know, I have some work, but it's sort of embarrassing. <laughs> I guess. No, I said that I... <laughs> I'll, I'll send it. I've sent you all my oil painting. Uh, you're yeah, welcome. email it to me and I can review. Oh, all right, I'll do that. That would be good. I only didn't do and even I even did the watercolor in LA. But Catherine, your work is so good. Why do you say? I don't know. But the oil, I just, whew, I didn't do that. I didn't have oils there in LA, so. You I'm know, I, I started oil because I think you suggested, didn't you, Kathy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, well, I was kind of surprised when you said, oh, not oil. I hardly do it, but I, I would like to do it. It's just so messy in my, where I live, you know, so I don't know. I love your oils. Maybe just to watch you. <laughs> Yeah, it's always fun to watch anyone paint. Um, I, I love watching people paint. And, then, and I love to demo. Oh, Kathleen, okay. by the way, I have a demo for your art association. I think on the 14th. I know, on the 14th, right? Yeah. yeah I'm so excited about that one, too. I've what, yet to. What association, the way you mentioned? It's Alameda. Uh, the Frank Bet. Oh, Frank Beth. Yeah. The arts on next. It's a Wednesday, I think. I don't yeah. have my and uh, <clears throat> also, I think Catherine is also in the paint out. Um, Frank Beth, that paint out. Is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I got in like the year before last, and then they had last year virtual. And so we just painted wherever you were it, some people are out of town so they would paint where, wherever they were and 
<laughs> I live in Alameda, so I painted my backyard flowers and things because of the pandemic. But right. then the same people got accepted automatically for this year that's supposed to be live. But yeah. But mostly Alameda subjects. <clears throat> yeah, virtual is no fun. I did one for Oil Painters of America. Um, well, I, I did get a chance to go out and paint the mission in. Uh, mm -hmm. I enjoyed that part, but um, when you do it physically, you get to meet other artists, which I love the most. Mm -hmm. Make new friends. And you also get to meet your, you know, some of your favorite ones. Oh, I love it. these events. I know there's some what you mean. really good artists in this this time. I, I assume they're coming back. Well, like you, and yeah. <laughs> like watercolor with Richie Vios. Oh, Richie is so good. I, I met know. him. Yeah, he's he's very good, and he's always winning. Oh, well, he's, he's never good. been in it before, I don't think. But he was in last year in the virtual. Yeah, it keeps us in shadow. <laughs> she is the spoiled cat, I know that. I'm so and done with this cat. <laughs> and she's the one who spoiled the cat and now she's... <laughs> she regrets. <laughs> After the cat when you are away on holidays and stuff. I, Bisha, it's so hard to believe that you're done with the cat. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. It's looking so nice. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, they're still blending in because it's not dried enough. I can do that later and when you are drawing the sh shoulders make sure it goes it in it aligns. This area it's the straight line. I mean it continues line. So that way, if this shoulder is lower, then the, the other shoulder would be higher. Whenever you draw that, the shoulders you have to compare it with the other one. Okay. So the face is still wet, but I think uh, I can still do the I can do it's what is it? Oh, I don't know. I didn't use any glue yet. It is stick to the board. Mm -hmm. I think I can do the lips. Uh, for the lips and just an attempt to improve the lips or uh, resemblance wise. I think it is this hard, harsh edge that needs to go. And rest is all done.
अमेजिंग दिसर जी बिकॉज दिस एरिया वॉज कैंड ऑफ वेट आई डेड I mean, it was a quick demo, but um, it's better to wait for the area to dry up, or else you end up overworking that area, which is here. So, in demo, it's not always that you end up painting something great, but it's the transferring your experience to to others.